To make a great action sequence, you have to start with a great story sequence. An action sequence can be fun to watch, but unless you're invested in this character and what they're trying to do, it doesn't mean much. One of the things I really like about Marvel Comics is when you look at a panel, the characters really pop. You can always see the characters, you know what they're doing. When we were building out the raft sequence for our E3 demo, we actually went in and we talked with Insomniac a lot about how we could exactly position the villains so we would almost see like these images that flash panels from the comics themselves. We wanted to try and get that same angle and same framework into these scenes. We don't actually do storyboards. We actually do a 3D previs. I'm talking about pre-visualization in 3D. The entire file will actually look uh, like what you see in the final product, but it's all grayscale. And then the animators just do temp animations to block out all the scenes, block out the cameras, and then set up the flow of the actual combat. And once we agree upon what we're going to do, we then go to the mocap stage and shoot it. To achieve both Spider-Man's motion and some of the other more stylized or superhero characters, we drew from everything possible. Right off the bat, we looked at parkour. We looked at gymnasts. We actually got amazing things out of our stunt people. A lot of wonderful things just sort of bloomed from blue sky thinking on a stage with a stunt person. What was interesting about working on this project was that there's a lot of different characters. So for example, we have a flying enemy like Vulture, we have a giant lumbering enemy like Rhino, or we even have enemies with superpowers like Electro. So we actually have to consider each of the villains as if it's its own main character. So we have to think about the look, the effect, and even how that character moves. How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. If it looks good when it's really rudimentary, once all has the bells and whistles of like finished models and lighting and audio and effects, that's just icing the cake. We actually spent a lot of time making sure that all the surfaces look really wet. You can see at certain times when you look at the characters really closely that there's actually water dripping down their, their masks or their faces. And I felt that that was really important to really nail uh, the emotion we're trying to get. There's a sort of gut feeling that it hits your stomach when you have your hands on the sticks and you're playing and you're swinging around and you almost get this moment where you're just in this this state where you're just purely interacting with that world. We're like, all right, they made a great game. And that's sort of where I, I've been at, you know, since probably a couple months now. And I'm really, really excited to get this out into the world and see how people react. Yeah.